Hello and welcome to a video on running stepwise regression using R Commander. I will use some car insurance premium data that is from the mid 1990s and uh, we should get it from the course website save it to your desktop. So I already did that. It's on my desktop. And so next I'll open R, R from my desktop and now I want to load our commander so I'm going to say library r commander abbreviated enter okay so we have our commander now and I want to load in the premium data from my desktop into our commander go data import from text file Let's call the data set premium, and it's a comma separated value file, so check that one, press OK, and then I find it on my desktop right there. Okay, so we have 86 rows of data, 6 columns, 6 variables. Let's view the data set. There we go, so we have uh, 5 potential predictor variables and my response premium is six month uh, car insurance premium. We have age of driver, age of car and years, uh, number of tickets received in the last three years, uh, number of discounts on your policy like multi-line, good student, etc. And then this is a binary variable. Female indicates the variable I call it female. It means uh, one means female, zero means male. Okay, let's run a regression. Go statistics, fit models, linear model. Let's just call it linear model one. And uh, we're going to fit the full model. Premium is the response. Age of car, age of driver, discounts, female, and tickets. Five predictor variables. Press OK. It says it already exists. Overwrite it. That's fine. Okay, here's my output, and uh, so I ran these five variables. Here's some summary stats, and I'm looking at this part now, and I see that age of car and age of driver are highly statistically significant. Uh, discounts is not significant, has a large p-value. Female is not significant at the 5% level, but it is at the 10%, and then tickets is statistically significant. Okay, and then what else do we know from this output? Here's our residual standard error, S. Typical miss is $157. Um, I'm only explaining about 41% of the variability in premium with these five variables. After adjusting for degrees of freedom, it's even worse, only about 37%. But overall, the regression is statistically significant. Okay, now we'll run the stepwise. It looks like we could clearly remove maybe one or two variables just by looking at this, but uh, let's run stepwise. Go to Models, Stepwise Model Selection, and then we have a couple of choices here. Um, let's do forward backwards, so we're kind of duplicating what a regular stepwise does in other software. It builds up a model and then can remove variables if they become insignificant later on. Now here's our selection criteria, which is not the same as like Minitab, for example, which use, uses t-statistics. Um, but anyway, these are discussed in the book. Um, we'll let, leave it at BIC here first. Let's press, this is Bayesian information criterion. Press OK. And now it generated a bunch of output here. Let's copy all this output. So it ran stepwise. Let me highlight all of this stuff and copy it and then paste it into a blank document nope, not that one I have another blank dot well yeah this one I'll paste it, paste it at the end okay and then it's kind of messed up maybe because of the font so let me fix the font I'll go uh, courier new Trying to do courier new. <laughs> there we go. And uh, 
That's good enough. Okay, so now everything is uh, in columns. Okay, so here's how it works. We have, uh, starting out with our stepwise, we have an AIC Akaiki's information criterion of 912.82. We like that number to be smaller. Smaller is better in this context. Now the first model that we're starting off with is just the model with the intercept, and that's the notation R is using here. Okay, and we want to get this information criterion smaller. So uh, the first step shows us that we can get it smaller if we add age of car to the model, we'll get AIC down to 896.5. Uh, we can also get it smaller by adding age of driver or tickets. But if we don't add any variables, we stay the same, 912.82. And we'll actually get worse with AIC if we add female or discounts. Well, clearly age of car is the best, so we'll add that variable. So we add age of car, the new AIC becomes 896.5. Our model has only age of car and the intercept. Um, now it says we can get AIC even lower if we add age of driver or if we add tickets, but age of driver is better. So add age of driver. Now we have a model with the intercept, age of car, and age of driver, and an AIC of 891.42. Okay, now it says we can still get it smaller. We can get down to 885 if we add tickets. So we add tickets. And then next it says we cannot get any smaller because if we add no more variables, we stay at 885. So it is rank ordering what happens here. If we add female, we get worse. If we add discounts, we get worse. If we take out tickets, we get worse. Okay, so we're done. And the final step here says use, or it's recommending the model with age of car, age of driver, and tickets. And then these are the coefficients that would result if we ran that regression by itself. And of course, we would like to run that regression and check residual plots and collinearity, unusual points, things like that curvature. Um, okay, so that is it. Um, however, let me show you what if I changed it, my criterion, let's go models, stepwise, and change it to AIC. Press OK. And let's do forward backwards. Press OK. Now when I change the criterion that it's considering, uh, AIC criterion lets me keep in one more variable female or adds one more variable to get the lowest AIC. Okay, so the previous criterion was actually using BIC even though it wasn't showing the BIC it was showing AIC in the the output here. Okay, that's it for run, uh, running stepwise in R Commander.